making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance and one half of the tag team KT League. Comment. And her opponent, making her way to the ring, representing focused aggression and one half of the tag team Texas has. She is the Texas Plancha, Vicky Williams. Your referee for this match, Drew Woodward. All right, everybody, welcome. Welcome to week two of Typhoon's In. As you can see, we're in the orange ring right here. Come on, come on. So, you know, colors of the rainbow, Roy G. Biv, you know exactly what ring should be trailing each ring. Come on. Right now, these two, these ladies here, they're, you come know, on. just positioning themselves for uh, high rank future title chances. Both former junior champions and Vicky B, former tag team champion. So, I mean, they they know what it means. They know what it means to be a champion. No stranger to it. And they both don't hold back. Love that idea. But some, they will hold back. They will jock for position. Uh, try to you know fake the opponent out. Sometimes you know switch gears from brawling to wrestling or submission to brawling or whatnot. They, you know, there's a cunningness to this that some will do, and some are straight up. That's it. I'm gonna fight you, or I'm gonna wrestle you. I'm gonna try to submit you. You know the game plan. You just gotta try to avoid it. There, I mean, pro wrestling is a variable version of combat that I just love. Love it. You know, that's, it's, it's a martial art in my mind. You know, what do y'all think? You don't get more mixed martial art than pro wrestling. That's how I see that. Oh, man. Caught a two-piece right there. No biscuit, though. No biscuit. Just a two-piece. The arm ringer, hammer lock, punch. They're not. They're, they're trying. I'm. It's hard to. It's getting hard to commentate this because I really want to just watch and at the same time try to suppress a cough. Oh, nice float behind. Uh, block that punch right there. Oh, Manhattan drop. Got a belly to belly suplex. Some go for the pin. Comments like, no, nah, I'm gonna pick her up. Oh, working that arm again. Driving that knee right to the forearm. Comet got head control. And look, you're gonna you're gonna see some matches that would be normally just on the road. Uh, Ralph Mimboro Mata and Norvik, you'll see them. Uh, Slugging on in life, they'll be in the the main event today, the final match. You know, uh, Moonlight and Bajin. Get to see that. Those are your Typhoon in matches. Come on. JWO Block, they'll be going against the wing records of uh, Destroyers of Anatomy. Uh, Medita, who won, she'll be going against TM Squared. So, you know, we got a lot of uh, heavy hitting matches coming after this one. Irish Whip off those ropes, flat back drop kick by Vicky Williams. Irish Whip waits on it. Leapfrog, another one. Oh, a third. <laughs> Comments like, I'm not doing this. Get your cardio at training. <laughs> nice arm drag by Williams. Hammer throw. Comments like, nope. Man, nice elevated DDT. That's one of her finishes right there. Vicky got up. Tried that back mount, but got rolled over to a wheelbarrow. Kicks out. Comet. Comet's right now on the 
I'll say defense in a sense. The back and forth that they go, body kicks one by Vicky, and she's going right back to that arm. She will snatch it, Juju Katami. I've not seen anyone submit to those, uh, you know, forearm strikes with the knee, but that don't mean they won't. Working that arm, Vicky Williams is turning it up a notch. She might be looking for a lone star press, and she comes to the top rope. Uh, Coach Cruz Santon missed. Comments on offense. Ooh. That kidney punch, but nope. Vicky Satellite hits his throw. Circling. Shoulder knocked down by Williams, who goes to the top rope. Another one. She nails it this time. Coach Cruz Santon, she hit that one. Comment is up, though. Vicky was too hurt to capitalize on it. Comment sits her up top. Climbs, got her, no, knocked down. Another court screw sent on. Common is on Dream Street getting up. Elbow, spinning back fist, knocked her straight down. One, two, no. That elbow and back fist combination. That court screw brain buster. One, can she get her? No. 20 minute match, everybody. Singles matches are 20 minutes. Juju Katami. Juju, get all that work on the arm payoff. No, Comet survives. Aztec scoop brain buster by Comet. Can she get her? Not yet. Juju's not done yet. Victory roll by Williams. Oh, Comet kicks out. She kicks out. Suplex by Comet. She's going to the top. Centon. No corkscrew. Just a centon. She's going for the pin on this one. Two. And she got it. And your winner of the match is Comet. And that's what you do. You do centons or something. You follow it up with a pin and you get it. You get it. All right. We got more action. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance, and one half of the tag team Las Conquistadoras, Merito! And her opponent, making her way to the ring, Representing Hierarchy, one half the tag team tyranny. T M Squared. The referee for this match, Willie Wilson. Fight. All right. Whoa. She started off. I was. I was. About to talk about them jockeying for a position and what okay okay you know Merito you might want to start fighting back baby you, you, you know it's it's all right dragon screwed by Merito Irish whip team squared holds on team squared I mean former heavyweight champion TV and road former tag team champion you know, I mean, come on, you know, two-time contestants of submission excellence. Just, I mean, she, that's that's what you call a legitimate threat right there. That's a legitimate threat. Quintessence of submission excellence is a moniker earned by winning the season submission tournament, which is submission match uh, primarily. You just cannot win by pinfall. Count out, DQs, all that stuff is fine, but you cannot win by pinfall. And she's the only one that legit just runs through May Lee G Lee. The only one. Elbow to the back. And then driving those lead Merito is. And now on the hierarchy, they they always got a thing against uh, against DWA. I don't know what it is. They don't like us. 
saw that last week. I went in with one way of thinking, you know, and then the matriarch was like, oh no, it's, it's, it's time to get straight up brutal. I, mentally, I won't even prepare for that. I just won't. She took advantage, had the better, stronger game plan, and I lost. And she had help. I was just by myself. Man, she working that knee. Knee to the body, stuns her, go behind, sleeper. Push whip, sleeper. Go right back to it. Marito gets her off that time. No hammer throw or Irish whip, whichever you're going to go for. Oh, she got it that time, but squared holds on. Dragon screw leg whip. As one used to say, the most devastating maneuver in all of pro wrestling. <laughs> oh, corner, throat chop, corner. She comes in. Nope. Tia Square's like, you're not doing this. Those corner punches to the face. Sleeper choke on the ground. Metato is definitely uh, right now I would say a 50-50 with this. Oh, swift high kick to the back of the head. Elbow drop to the back of the leg. Up guillotine choke. Can Metato survive this? Yes, she can. Irish whip. No, Tim Square is just not going with anything. Jumping suplex or brain bust as some would say in Japan. Stomps to the forehead by Medito. Oh, Dragon Sleeper and Sizzle Lock. And Tim Square could not score the submission. Dragon Screw Leg Whip by Medito. She boasts. Elbow drop to the leg. Got her up. Goes behind. Elbow by Squared. Elbow by Medito. Pele kick. Where it is up. Oh, she caught the mist. Is it helping? She's going on instinct. Elbow. She's got to, yeah, she's trying to wait for that to wait for her eyes to clear up. Go behind sleeping. That's the that's the beautiful submission wrestle. They grab you. Even though they're blinded. Once once you grab them, they know where you are. And a submission wrestle will know the anatomy like no other. And certainly, Metro got in the corner. Space rolling elbow, face crusher combination. Goes for the pin. And she gets it. And your winner of the match is Metro. Congratulations. Because I won't expect in that. I'm like, well, she's going to come back with a dislocated neck or something. That's what I was thinking. And I'm going to have to nurse her back to health because that's that, that my woman right there. Anyway, anyway. We got tag team action, and then Typhoon's in matches, so let's roll. Making their way to the ring. Revenue jailed without order. First, D Block and his partner, D Block. J W O Block. Their opponents making their way to the ring, both hailing from China, representing the stories of anatomy. The Wing Wreckers. First, she is the Arm Cracker, Yan Li Wen, and her partner, the Arm Collector, Shobi Shoji. The referee for this match, Van Perry. Okay, JWO Block trying to rot, raise in the ranks. They went from in the 20s down here to 15 and trying to get to the outside already. What the, the back down? One, two, three. Man, yeah, she, she closed the gap so he couldn't use the bat. Shobi Shoji, she's not a, a complete stranger to B Block. 
I mean, she's had to deal with D Block in the juniors division, so she. It's like, you know, you're going to mess with one JW. You know how all of them got to be. And to the outside, he go, but they don't give chase. Although if both of them did, they'd have the two-on-one advantage. But it's a 30-minute time limit match, everybody. And certainly... See, certainly they're going to start off... With, see, they, now they start off with the brawl, and now they're going to go into wrestling. This, this is what I'm talking about. A little rough housing, a little bit of rough housing. Shoulder knocked down. Jean tags in. Shobi. And then Shoji's taking them elbows to the back. Lee Wynn is trying to. Yeah, she's got to get out. She was looking for an opening, but he was making it so he could. that. There was no way to, to to hit him and not mess her up. D, D Block is a cunning one. I'm gonna give it that. He he's, he's he's smart in that ring. Kicks to the body there, warding off that double team. D Block with head control. D Block with the mount. Oh, she was countering and got popped in the face for it. John Lee Win going right to that arm. Both of the, hey, wing records for a reason. They th that name is earned. <laughs> D block tagged in and work working the growing muscle that in the thigh. And Jihan's like, what do I do? We're like, what? you know, I would tell her, get out of uh, no woman's land and get to your own corner. Try to dictate the match pacing and where it takes place. JWO, they, they got that mess down. He wore, D Block wards off that double team. Shelby, she got the elbow to the back, stomping on the arm. Well, A stomp to the arm. She's working that arm. Elbow to the face. Stomp to the body. And Shobi shows you she's trying to keep it over there in their corner. D block. Yeah, he, he outpaced her and made the tag to his brother D. He got a low blow behind Shobi. See, they jockey for position. I was talking about. It's tactical. It's very tactical, but it also pushed him back to their corner. Was off that double. Team. It's almost like he wanted to go there and just say, "Look, y'all got nothing on me." Nice wrist flip right there. Now B and Lee Wen. She got the elbows to the arm. Those elbow stabs to the elbow. The shoulder arm breakers. She's working B block over. They got 30 minutes. Tags in D. Come on. Come on. Ooh, close line to the back of the head right there. Or at least the, the, the neck. It was off that double team. D block does. And then she got that arm again. Push him to the corner. She falls in. No, good grief. Little kicks her out. And I mean, she caught that. He stayed in that corner just to just to beat on him. It's like, I'm in here, but I got the advantage in your corner. This is a different tactic from JWO Block. I'll be honest with you. I'm not used to seeing this. Oh, he caught that. Yeah, for real, that was that was brutal. That was a serious shot by Shobi. And Lee Wen got head control. Got him down in, in their corner. Oh, Manhattan dropped by B. Stuns her. Makes the tag. She tags in Shobi. And Miss Shoji is... Yep, she got the arm again. 
arm ringer, shoulder arm breaker, hammer lock, arm bar takedown. He's working that arm over, stomp to the forearm right there. Misses that punch. And these two teams, their, their game plan is there, but JWO Block is taking that more methodical road. And I'm not used to this. It's, how can I say, I can't tell what they're primarily focused on other than maybe the, the body, the head, but right now, predominantly, they're, they're wrestling. And that's, they don't normally last this long wrestling. They, oh, there, there goes the headbutt. Manhattan drop. Toe kicks her in the corner. Now here, we're starting to see she got the way of that drop kick. Double suplex, they finally got one. Juju Katami in the center of the ring. D-Block comes in there. Cannot get a hold of it. Shobi sacrificed herself trying to keep that move on. Trying to help her partner keep that move on. Shoulder arm breaker and D-Block's arms are shot. She shot out the ring. And she can't get away this time. Standing switch. Oh! Mule kick and then hit with the chair. In the ring. Drop kick on Shobi. And he's feeling his oats while his arms are feeling the pain. Oh, get a yabri. Got the uh, Fujiwara on. And now she's like, this is how you do it. And he surrenders. Man, she showed up on that one. And your winners of the match, the wing records. Oh. Man, okay. She put that arm bar on. Oh, man, I know. Yeah, D ain't gonna be happy with that. Um, we got Typhoons in next. Congratulations for defending your ranks. Uh, we got Typhoons in matches. We got three of those. So let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Galaxy Moonlight. And her opponent making his way to the ring. Why is he representing focused aggression? One half of the cross faction tag team CM United. Dajin. What are you? Your referee for this match, the Larry. What in the world? Uh, but he's going to Stout's office and get the belt or something? He he must be feeling away. But to be wearing that belt after you done lost it to Kaijin, I I can promise you right now, Kaijin don't necessarily care. But, yeah, I'm sure he's trying to do what they call make a statement. But, uh, <laughs> honestly, it's just a fragment sentence to us because you can, you can wear the belt, but when it comes to title time, one, you don't have it, and you're not going to enter with it. And that's it. Personally, it makes me chill for Moonlight even more. I was just hoping for a good competition. I'm kind of like, you know what, Moonlight? You know, rip rip something out. And over there at Moonlight's corner, you can see uh, the new manager slash wrestler as he proclaimed himself. Uh, SM Dark Star is what he calls himself. Uh, so, man, nice, nice kick. Torture Crab. And... I, I, okay, I mean, you know, it's on Beijing. Nice low kicks, punch there by Moonlight. She charges in, basement drop kick missed. Another torture crab by Beijing. Mm -hmm. 
dragon screw leg rip by moonlight elbow drop to the arm two of them he gets up trip he she gets up out of it ankle lock Ooh, jumping punch to the body body blow low kick back and forth they go and those body blows one out stomp to the back comes off the rope Beijing does knee to the back shoulder arm break up by moonlight make it three and then stomps to the forearm adding insult to injury Whew. Uh, oh man he's just strangling her Elbow drop and hold. Two. No. El elbow. Elbow or knee? Elbow to the back. Forearm stomps right there. By moonlight. She's working that arm over. She's working it over. Elbow drop to the back of that leg. Make it another one. Those leg lifting elbow drops to the knee pit area. Man, another elbow drop to the arm, going for the pin. Two. You got a two count out of that. And he's got her up. Power bomb position. Nope. Back body drop counter. And this is a 20 minute time limit match, everybody. Sorry I didn't say that earlier. 20 minute time limit rules are simply this. If you lose, if you lose, you're out the tournament. You win, you advance. If it's a draw, you both out. And can you get it? No. So a draw is some serious, mutually assured destruction. Fujiwara takedown. And, oh, oh, he got to the ropes. Okay, he was able to get to the ropes. Irish whip, she waits on it. Fujiwara now further away from the ropes. And them arms are hanging. Them arms are hurting. He's in the corner now. She gets in there with him. Nope. He pulls out knees to the body. But he's tired. He's tired. And she's on Dream Street. And she... Yep. Hammer throw again. Whoa. What in the world did she do that for? She tried to come off the ropes, but she hit that hard corner. She took him down, but he's punching her in the face. Rolls her over. Elbows to the face. More elbows to the face. And tried to hold her down before a pin, but nope, we saw him do that with Team Square many months ago. Turkey wrap. Turkey wrap applied. And he, he is exhausted, trying to get it back, trying to get that air back. And she knows it. Off those ropes. Satellite head suit. No, nope, head satellite arm breaker. Stomping on the arm. Halfway through this match, everybody goes for the pin. Moonlight does too. No. Thought it was there. Irish whip. Not letting him rest. Fujiwara on bar. Or Waki Katami, as some would call it. Actually, few would call it. She mounts. Heel hook. But it's a rope break. She is not letting him rest. Fisherman driver. One, two, does he have it? No. The battle continues. Kick them to the to the mat. Stomp to the arms. Rolls them over. After multiple stomps. One. Two. No. And he lit her up. Those bolo style punches. Those looping haymakers. One. Two. There's nothing you can do, man. And three. SM Dark Star decide to get up there late. But your winner of the match is Beijing. And he is arguing with the ref over something. I don't know what. We got two more matches. Let's roll. Making his way to the ring. Representing the focus aggression. One half of the tag team blunt force submission. Norvick. Making his way to the ring, representing Retribution. 
and one half of the tag team, the Underbridge. He is the self-proclaimed god of all legends, Ralphman Boromada. Your referee for this match, Mr. Senior Junior. All right. This is normally a match you would, well, this is more geared to the road, even though they have rarely met. I think maybe one other time. And Norbert, nope, they've met in tag team action only, I believe. And I don't think uh, Blood Force Submission won any of those. So it's a thing for for this I guess but Ralph Boromata he, he basically cut his teeth on uh, Tree of Mass building himself up on the road going after the, the biggest and the baddest and winning the road heavyweight championship so far two times uh, Ralph Boromata has been a thorn in the side of a lot of people one of the most hated wrestlers on the road roster uh, so man he clubbing Norbert with that that Larry ooh chop and then popping him with those forearms he, he came out he mean business today but again if you go against Norbert and you ain't doing anything you know trying to absolute win with as much dominance as possible then you will lose other than that you might lose <laughs> Norvik is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, oh my goodness. That's his STL that he loves too. And Norvik kicks out on two. He pulled that off quick. Now Norvik is waylaying on him. Ralph Labordermata is going on defense now, it looks like. Man, he just got popped. And then. Ralph and threw, threw Norvik out the ring. Had a chair, but gave up the chair. Got a hammerlock. These time tested moves is something you do not want to do outside the ring. You really don't. Oh, elbow. Norvik gets in the ring. He knows better. And laughing. Don't get caught monologuing. Throws him down. Norvik is certainly going to be looking for that rolling double axe handle. Norbert trying to reach over his Give shoulder up. like he was outside the ring, trying to get a hold of him. Give up. And he waits on a big back body drop. Norbert stays in the ring. Norbert shoves him down. Drags him away from the ropes. Falling fist drop. Oh, he beat him to the punch with that. Comes off the ropes. Norbert with the hooking clothesline. That Benoit style clothesline and nope, only a two count from that. I would say dominant pin. So don't call it an arrogant or cocky pin. Fujiwara, we saw that earlier. We saw that even win the match. With Jean Lee win. Oh, he chased him in and caught him with that Larry. Fujiwara again. Seems like he's not really trusting the STO anymore. He, he nailed it. He popped it off that one good time. Manhattan dropped by Norbert. Yeah, you. You, you talking to me? Yeah. And that, okay. And his laughter. Hooking clothesline. Going for that pin. Two. No, not yet. Ralphman fights on. Elbow to the back. Norbert is up. Standing switch. Norbert got him. Single leg backdrop, but in the ropes. Ralph works on the leg now. He got punched in the side of the head for his efforts. Norbert puts him in the corner. Switch. Ralph got him up. Climbs up there. What's he gonna do? Oh, right to the eyes. Jumping fist drop. He popped, he popped him right in the kneecap. I can hit him right in the kneecap. I'm going to tell you right now, somebody jump out the car rip and punch me in my knee. I might not want to get up, period. And he's working that arm bar again. Off with pulling on that arm. Norbert 
Manhattan Drop. Yeah, you. Meet Head Hill Western Lariat. Rolls him over. Are you saying this is going to happen to me? Two. Three. And he gets it. And your winner of the match is Norbert. Congratulations. Awesome. Good job. The road roster is happy with you. We got one match left. Let's roll. Making his way to the ring. Hailing from your first breath. Representing and one half of the tag team reality. Live. And his opponent making his way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance and one half of DWA Face Breakers, Slugger Nine. The referee for this match, Chuck Goose. Here we go, everyone. Final match. C block action. So then I'm gonna have to open up and and stay open. I mean, life. You get. I mean, you know, the idea is to get to the end as quick as possible. With someone like life. He is extremely resilient. Has lost very few matches. And he goes stomping on Slugganon's face. And I, although I haven't seen anything of it, I'm sure Pondo Lobro is still... I bet he's hoping that life win. He can win all of his matches because he wants to... They would have to be in the final for, for them to, to, to face off. And that's a long, tough road. Seriously. No joke. Oh, headbutt by life and once he gets started with them headbutts I ain't gonna lie normally it's a wrap with, with that it's just a matter of time but Slugger 9 just like life multiple times uh, I'm a heavyweight champion so oh elbow he's got the head he's got the head who in the what? that's death can't do it alone, can you, Life? Can't do it alone, can you? He still got a, he still got a shot in on Life, even though Death was being distracted. Full Nelson. Death just interfering. I mean, good grief. Slugger now got the, he's got to fight off both of them best he can. That's just gonna drain Slugger 9 of energy. That's all that's gonna do, tire you out a lot faster. Man, cheap shot. Ugh. Frustrating. Nice, nice kidney shot and punch in the back of the head. How are you gonna put the count on him? Death is the one that's illegal. He popped life again. Now he's rolling him over. One, two. No, not yet. I was hoping. I was hoping. Chop block by life. Slugger nine up on his feet. Body blow. Rolls him over. Can he get him? Two. No. And now you know why he's slugger nine. Because he's showing sure up. Duke you up all day. Two. And he's going after back and forth to go. Punches, elbows, oh, sizing each other up. Sizing each other up. Punches, elbows, back and forth, they go. Oh! Right bare knuckle punch. Two. And he got him. And your winner of the match is Slugger 9. Congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. Love it. Because I got eliminated. So, you know, need all the support 
we can get here in DWA. So look, that's gonna do it. Thank y'all for showing up, joining us from wherever you you know joined us from whatever device it was on. Deeply appreciate it. Do not forget tomorrow road more typhoons in action. All right, three more matches. We're gonna do that up like that. So with that, this has been Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Wrestling, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pay Nagging Wrestling, all that good stuff down there in the description. Make sure you check them out. I say this every single time. Keep the E-Fed communities fed and alive and all that, you know. And if you know of an E-Fed area, someplace here on YouTube or somewhere else, hey, put it down there in the comment section. Go ahead, you know. I'll give it a, I'll give it a look-see. We'll see what's going on, you know. But with that said, I want to thank y'all. Y'all take care. Take it easy. Chillax. Old school reference there. And with that, good night, everybody. <laughs>